Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. And I'm Melanie Michael. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday night. Tonight, members of a Polk County church are counting their blessings after a small plane crashed just feet away from their sanctuary. Around noon today, that plane crashed in the parking lot of the Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church in Bartow. News Channel 8's Jeprosowski spoke with a number of people at the church who are really counting their blessings tonight. This is the parking lot where the plane crashed in broad daylight on Sunday. So as you might imagine, a number of people heard it crash. Others saw it. It was like it was just shredding the trees. And you can hear cracking, limbs cracking. Mary Himes is one of those witnesses. He just jerked it to the left. And I'm like, oh my God. And then he hit this pole. Flames were everywhere. And the next thing all you heard was a crash. Boom. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Members of the church heard the thud. But we actually thought it was uh, thunder, you know, it's common here in Florida. And one of our deacons said, I'm gonna go check it out. He, for some reason, he got up and when he, he ran out, he came back in and he said, a plane crash. The pilot was the only one on board, the only one injured. The church's nurse corps immediately sprung into action. Ran up to the scene and we got over there and they helped us get on top of the plane and we began to um, apply pressure. He had a gash on the top of his um, forehead. He was bleeding everywhere, and um, we was asking him all kinds of questions. Paramedics rushed the pilot to a local hospital for treatment. Polk County Fire Rescue reports there was damage to a power pole and six cars in the church parking lot. Sierra Carter's was the worst. That was her Jeep Patriot. I looked at my boyfriend, I said, Red, my car, and he goes, what you mean? I say, my car. And he just sits there, and then he finally goes out and looks, and he comes back in, and he's like, it's your car. <laughs> People who live in the area and attend this church are counting their blessings. Had the plane veered a few feet in either direction, the outcome could have been much worse. Oh, my gone. goodness. We were just talking to a couple of the officers there because we had over 300 people. Uh, it would have been catastrophic for us. The associate pastor tells me there are a number of surveillance cameras on campus here, and one of them may have actually captured the plane coming in, perhaps the crash. He wasn't able to verify if that's the case on Sunday because power was cut to the facility. The NTSB and FAA are now investigating the cause of this crash. In Bartow, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.